was totally supposed to read this book last month, but you know, here I am in August. At least I read it. I'm clearly just a terrible book club hostess because I'm probably going to be behind one book for the rest of my life because that's how I am as a person. I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a book review for Queens of Geek by Jen Wild. I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I absolutely loved it. So without further ado, let us get started. I was totally supposed to read this book back in July because it is the book that Dylan and I chose for our Goodreads group, Random Book Monthly. And I totally just didn't do it. I finally finished the book though, and as I said, I loved it so much. I think that it was so cute and I highly recommend reading it if you haven't already. Which like everybody and their mother has. I'm like late to the party. So this book follows Charlie, Taylor, and Jamie who are three best friends from Australia who are attending Supercon which is basically pretty much Comic-Con. Charlie is a YouTube vlogger who just starred in her debut movie The Rising. Taylor is a hardcore Queen Firestone fangirl and she's also struggling with an anxiety disorder and she also has Asperger's and then Jamie is kind of the glue that holds them all together. This is supposed to be the weekend that they put all their worries aside and they have the time of their lives and that's when Charlie's ex-boyfriend Reese shows up and things become a little bit complicated from there. Well, the first thing I want to say about this book is that it is an own voices book for bisexual and autistic representation and I love own voices books. I think that there should be more of them so I was very happy to learn that fact. I think that the book did such a great job in diversity as well as representation from what I've heard. It's very well done. I personally don't have an anxiety disorder. I'm not autistic and I'm not bisexual so I can't say for sure if the representation is well done. In the reviews that I have read everybody does say that the representation is very well done so keep that in mind if you're thinking about picking up the book is apparently super good on representation. As I said, the diversity in this book is amazing. There is a Chinese-Australian bisexual main character. There's a black woman love interest, a Hispanic love interest. There's also a plus-size main character who has Asperger's and suffers from social anxiety. So there's a lot going on in this book. I think that it deals with a lot of hard topics very well. It handles bi erasure, it handles bisexuality, it handles biphobia. It also handles body shaming and toxic relationships and I love that. I think that it should be talked about more and I think that this book does a great job doing it. I really loved the message of self-acceptance in the end of the book. I thought it was really well done and there's a lot of beautiful passages in the book that I wasn't expecting at all. I also really liked the fandom setting of the convention and I loved how there were so many references to movies that I grew up with and absolutely loved. They mentioned Miss Congeniality and I pretty much fangirled like a little baby because Sandra Bullock is like my queen. I love her. I think that the plot was really well done. I loved the pacing and I think that the overall cute and fluffiness of the book was just adorable and I loved both of the relationships that formed during the book. I just, I ship them. I ship them both so hard. I really, really loved Jamie as a character. I think that he should be talked about more. He is so supportive and caring of both Taylor and Charlie and just their friendship was the cutest thing in the entire world and I just loved him. He's just the cutest. And like every single scene with him in it, I was like, my baby. <laughs> I wish that there was more Jamie in the book and I wish that we heard more from his perspective because I liked the Charlie Taylor alternating perspective, but like Jamie's my homeboy. He's like adorable and I need more of him. I also really loved the female-female friendships in the book and how supportive all women were to each other. Because usually it's just like catfight on catfight on catfight, but like all the females in this book were just yes, just yes. The one like biggest complaint that I had about the book, which is why I dropped half a star, was because the dialogue just seemed kind of annoying to me and like super chopped and like it didn't seem authentic. Most of the time it was either like super like nye, 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 or it was like these long passages that didn't really seem like how normal people would talk to each other and it kind of seemed forced to try to get the message across, which the messages were always really good messages. It was just like people don't talk to each other that way. So like, eh. But other than that, loved it. So overall, I thought the book was super cute, super fluffy, and totally worth all the hype and the love that it is getting. All of us fangirls out there can relate to some aspect of this book, and I think that it needs to be read by a million more people. So if you haven't read this book, pick it up. 
Alright guys, so that was my review of Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. 4.5 out of 5 stars. I definitely highly recommend this book. Y'all should read it. So super duper cute. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!